In this lecture, we will be doing some preliminary work to introduce supersymmetric quantum mechanics, so see quantum mechanics as it's called. So let us begin by introducing two operators. Let's call it as A dagger, first operator. This is defined as, let us say, some function W of x minus i divided by root 2m times p hat where p hat is the momentum operator given as minus h cross dy dx and a therefore will be w of x plus i by root 2 m theta so now we will form the product a dagger a so that is basically a product of two operators. So if you want to obtain the total uh, correct uh, expression for the product of these two operators, you have to act on a function f of x. So that would be w of x. Okay, let's substitute for p cap as minus i h cross d by dx. So that will give us plus i squared h cross by square root of 2m into d by dx. But i squared is minus 1. So you get a minus uh, h cross upon root 2m d by dx into w of x plus uh, again here plus i and minus i so minus i squared so that would give us a plus overall h cross upon root 2m d by dx acting on a function f of x that's very important so that would give us w of x minus h cross upon root 2m d by dx acting upon w of x into f of x plus h cross upon root 2m d f of x by dx. So what we did was we first operated these two on this function. Now we will operate these two on these two functions. So that would give us w of x acting on w of x which will give you w squared of x acting on f of x minus h cross upon root 2m d by dx acting on both the functions w of x and f of x then w of x acting on this which will be just a multiplicative operator so h cross upon root 2m w of x into d of f x by dx and d by dx acting on this function that will give us minus h cross square upon 2m d squared f of x by dx squared. So if we open up uh, the second term we we'll get w squared of x f of x so minus h cross upon root 2m d by dx or w of x. So that will be giving you as w of x into d of x by dx and the other one will be h cross upon 2m square root um, f of x into dw by dx that will be the function of x. And then of course the remaining two terms will remain as it is that is h cross upon 2m w of x into d of x by dx minus x cross squared upon 2m d squared f of x by dx squared. So we can see that this term here gets cancelled with this term here. Right? So we are left with w squared of x here this one the second term is uh, minus h cross by root 2m times let's call this as w dash of x that is dw dx minus h cross squared upon 2m d squared by dx squared this part here whole thing acting on f of x so this is your a dagger a 
acting on f of x. So we can immediately see that a dagger a is basically this equation here. Okay, now if I were to uh, write this part here as some v1 of x, then I can see that there seems to be certain kind of an Hamilton. So then this total thing we can call it as h1. So basically Hamilton in h1 is constructed as minus h cross squared upon 2m d squared upon dx squared plus v1 of x. This is our first important equation where v1 of x is defined through this equation w squared of x minus h cross upon root 2m w dash of x. So this is basically a uh, non-linear Riccati equation for this w. And in a similar fashion, if I were to calculate a a dagger acting on f of x, that would result in w squared of x plus h cross upon root 2 m w dash of x minus h cross squared upon 2 m d squared of dx squared acting on f of x. So that will be the main difference and that's because uh, as you can see you know here the whole thing the order will change right we'll first have the w plus h cross by 2m front and then w minus h cross by so this uh, equation here you know this will have a plus sign and uh, this will have a minus sign so that's the major difference okay so you can do that on your own and uh, again one can see that uh, we have a slightly different uh, function which we can call as v2 of x and this whole thing together we can call it as h2 a hammer down h2 so basically uh, we can say that uh, typically of course h1 was nothing but a is an operator hamilton operator is nothing but a dagger a and a a, da a dagger gives us a different hamilton eh, which we call as h2 which is basically minus h square square upon 2m uh, d square by dx square plus v2 of x where v2 of x is w square of x plus h cross upon root 2m w dash of x okay so one can easily see that if you add v1 plus v2 you'll get two times w squared of x and all those things okay but the important thing is uh, this h1 and h2 are called partner hamiltonians and uh, the corresponding uh, uh, potentials v1 and v2 are called the super potentials or super symmetric partner potentials that is the basic uh, terminology we use okay so these are the some terminology w of x is typically called super potential and h1 and h2 are called partner partner hamiltonians And V1 and V2 are called super symmetric partner potentials. Okay, so the now important thing that uh, we need to understand is that uh, these H1 and H2. have exactly same set of eigenvalues 
and actually same set of eigen states you can stay and therefore same set of eigen values except for the ground state except for the ground state so this is what we will do in our next video okay thank you